Okay, we've got a question from Habib, and Habib says this. He, I, I did a little thing about wrestling conditioning. Now, remember, if the best book, one of my favorite books, and I want to turn here and see it, but I think I might have loaned it out again because I'm an idiot, which means I have to buy another copy. John Jesse's uh, Wrestling uh, Conditioning Encyclopedia. Just an amazing book. I mean, everything you think was invented recently, no, it was written. It's in John Jesse's book. Uh, that's where I would go to get a, a nice overview of the things you should do as a wrestler. Uh, I get most of my information from the old strength and health articles I have up there. Um, but in the it, Habib asks this question. Why did you recommend the clean and press, snatch, clean and jerk, loaded carries for smart off-season weight training? Um, I recommended it because I am still convinced on the very first article, the, the very first strength and health magazine I ever bought had an article about high school wrestling, and the coach said a very interesting thing. Uh, if you can snatch... Uh, if you can snatch your body weight when you're going against your opponent, you literally know that you can pick them up and whip them over your head. Uh, I've never done that, but there is a little bit. So the Olympic lifts, I think, reflect the kind of strength you need to be a wrestler. Now, obviously, wrestlers do all kinds of things. Um, I uh, and the, I know that the Olympic lifts are, especially the clean with the clean and press, which was taken out of the Olympics in 1972. They're, they're not as popular as they were when I was young, but I still think those three lifts, if that's all you did, you'd be just fine. Now, in the loaded carries, of course, I believe that loaded carries increase work capacity, and it's that weird kind of work capacity. It's sometimes we call it dad strength. Uh, you know, the old joke about when I was growing up, we were all lifting weights, and dad would ask us to help, you know, take the engine out of the car, and, you know, we'd all, you know, get all, we're all doing our push-ups and all our nonsense and you know dad would reach in there the chrysler and pull the engine out by himself you know and you know when you couldn't open a, a, a jar or a bottle or something dad would rip that thing open that's dad's strength or farmer strength here uh the farmer carry the farmer walk uh bear hug carries with the big bags see to me i think that's the kind of condition you want to do now people are going to ask about more specifics uh, I'm not a big fan of specific lifting for sports. Uh, now, I certainly, we do it with my throwers. We have some things we do. But it's a very nuanced thing, and it's not something that would be easy to explain in a podcast. It's one of those things, it's like I'm getting these uh, javelin uh, video exercises sent to me by my friend Brian. And I'm glad he's not typing up what the exercise is. He's just showing me the video, you know, of this exercise, because I don't know how you would ever be able to write that much. So when it comes to like specificity, when it comes to a sport like wrestling, yeah, I'm sure there's real value in having, you know, those those heavy bags and, you know, throw those around, do Turkish get-ups with those bags. Uh, um, you know, you do the lift and throws with the bags, you do all that stuff. I know there's great value to it. Real hard to explain outside of a gym. Uh, the other thing, too, uh, I did wrestle. In fact, I, I was just showing a friend of mine a picture of me uh, pinning someone in high school. I'm pinning the Jefferson uh, kid. And his counter was to stick his hand into my face like this. And when the referee hit pin, my nose broke and I bled all, all over the guy. So that was a... But you can see my nose. My nose is about over here. And you'll notice it never did really get fixed. Now I did it. Um... I did wrestle. Uh, when I wrestled, our, our weight lifting program was circuit training on a universal gym. And I thought that was pretty darn good. Um, I would like to have wrestled after I started doing the Olympic lifts because uh, I just loved how explosive I was all the time. I'd say the biggest bang for your buck if you're gonna be a wrestler is the Olympic lifts if, uh, as appropriate. You're gonna have to learn them young because uh, most wrestlers have all kinds of injuries and really, you know, when you're, when you're with, you know, good wrestlers, um, you begin to notice certain things. You notice the ears, you notice the face, you notice the hands, you notice the, you know, there's, there's a lot of injuries in these combat sports, even something like our American wrestling. Um, so that, yeah, that's why. 
it's a it's a good question. Uh, it's a good question to review. Um, I get questions now about how to train for boxing, how to train for wrestling. And it's like something I read when I was very, very young about a certain job that you'll see in certain cities and the, the gentlemen wear a certain style of clothes and drive a certain kind of vehicle. And someone wanted to be one of them when he grew up. And, and the, the thing said, you know, this sometimes you just, you don't learn everything in school. You have to learn sometimes. You have to learn things on the streets. Um, I think if you're an elite uh, wrestler uh, looking for information from this podcast, I, I must say, and there's no humility here. It's just honest. Uh, I'm giving some general advice to some general questions. Um, when I work with, you know, top end athletes, um, you know, there, there's always a thousand factors you have to keep juggling. Um, I, I hope that answers your question. Um, but when, when you, for those of you who are going to start working with a school team, uh, yeah, I get those, I would get your athletes doing at least power clean, military press, and front squat as soon as you can in your program because you want to beat those injuries. Once the elbows and wrists start getting beaten up from the sports, the fingers, uh, maybe the knees, and some, and sometimes. Um, it's going to be real hard to teach the Olympic lifts or those full body movements after. So, yeah, it's, that's a good question. Uh, thank you very much. I enjoyed that.